Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing another, um, unboxing video. Um, today I'm unboxing the Amber Collection Jurassic World Velociraptor Delta. Delta the Velociraptor. Um, so, this toy costs around 20 to 25 dollars. I got it on eBay. And, um, as for, an, as for box appearances, um, We've got that signature curve in that side of the box. Um, that's in all Amber Collection, um, all Amber Collection toys. Now we turn it around to the side and we've got that Jurassic World logo right there. And then on the back, there's just a little information about our dinosaur. Um, so, it's, so it's got Amber Collection up at the top and the name of the dinosaur and what movie it's from. And it says, although Velociraptor Delta is trained by Owen Grady, she also has a close bond with Barry, a lead dinosaur trainer. When she and her pack were brought on to battle the Indominus Rex, the outcome is different from expected, especially for the Coskins. Okay, and then the other side has the little amber collection and the amber with the mosquito inside it. So yeah, so pretty cool looking box. Um, I'm really excited about this dinosaur. Um, I've been wanting this dinosaur for a while to unbox it. Um, and all the other dinosaurs um, in the amber collection, in my opinion, are really cool. Now, included in this box are um, the Velociraptor Delta. Um, a little spy cam thing from Jurassic World that they attach to her neck. And, if I don't know if you can see it, but there's a stand in the back which you can stand up this dinosaur. So, um, just to get it in some pretty cool poses if you're a collector. Um, so, yeah, definitely some good include stuff. I'm so excited to crack this thing open. Um, okay, let's, uh, open this dinosaur up and see what we got. Okay, so, here's the toy fully unboxed, and wow, um, it is really, I've, I've seen it a lot in, uh, shows and unboxing videos, but it, they just really don't do it justice to how m m articulatable this dinosaur is. I mean, there are many, many joints. Um, and there's three joints in the arms alone. So, um, yeah, really articulatable. Um, overall thoughts, um, this dinosaur, um, they might need, they might need to do a better job of it standing up alone, but I think that's what the, um, stand is for. Um, it can stand pretty good on its own, but, um, yeah, so you can always use the stand if it isn't um, working out. Um, so yeah, you can use the stand um, for s videos and stuff like that. Um, and then it also comes with this little um, spy camera thing. And I think that goes around the neck. So um, yeah, as seen in Jurassic World, um, they have these little things that go around the neck. So yeah, that's pretty cool too. Um, overall thoughts, um, this dinosaur, it's pretty articulatable and the appearances, like the color scheme, it's really close to what it looks like in the movie. Um, so yeah, definitely really good, really good sculpting job and like stuff like that. All right now, so focusing on the head, um, the color scheme looks pretty natural with that um, yellow eye and the black snake-like split um, slash right there. Um, the nostrils are pretty clearly seen. Um, there's this interesting dark hue around, dark green hue around the eye, which is also pretty cool. Um, looking at the back of the neck, um, there is some bumps that give some texture and some skin stretch lines that are pretty cool. Now, inside the mouth, 
um, you can see that nice jaw flap texture right there um, that most of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World have. Um, the teeth are pretty nice also. Um, there's a little um, more texture on the top teeth than the bottom teeth. Um, but I would say all of the all the teeth look pretty nice. Um, you can see clearly the back of the throat there and the texture lines again and that nice red tongue. Um, yeah, so that's pretty nice right there. And um, regarding the movement of the mouth, so it can have its mouth closed like that. It can have the bottom open like that. And then it can have both since it's a double hinged jaw, it can have both of them open so it, it's roaring really loudly um, with a really strong roar, um, then it can um, roar pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, moving on to the arms. Um, they look pretty realistic. Um, with that top joint up here, there's some nice striped stuff right there, so that's nice. Um, there are trip, it's triple jointed arms. So there's a joint right here which allows it to go up like so, like that. And um, there's a joint here for the elbow, I guess. And then there's a joint here right here for the wrist. So you can do some pretty cool action shots with that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Both the arms have that. Um, so yeah, so pretty good on the arms. As for overall texture, I would say that also looks pretty good too. Um, maybe some texture along the elbow right there might be nice. But oh, other than that, I mean like there's not really anything else that I would change about the arms. The arms are pretty good as they are. Um, yeah, so yeah, definitely really good on the arms. And moving on down to the legs and the feet. Um, as for overall texture, they look pretty nice. Nothing I would really change about that. Um, as for uh, as for maneuverability, there are multiple joints in the legs. So there's a big joint right there. There's a small joint here for the calf almost. Um, and then there's a joint here and a joint for the foot. Um, the toes don't move, but one of my favorite features about this dinosaur, this signature ripping claw is able to move up and down. So that could result in some pretty cool, good action shots for stop motion and stuff. Um, so yeah, a lot of good joints. The, t the texture is pretty nice too. Um, nothing really I would change about the legs. They're pretty nice. Um, it's a little hard for it to stand on its own, so maybe, like, try to figure out a way to make it stay, stay better. Um, no, not really anything I would like to change about the legs. Um, so yeah, overall, for the legs, they're, they're pretty nice the way they are. Moving on to the tail, um, it has one joint here, which you can swivel the whole tail around like that but it doesn't look natural that way. Um, as for, te as for um, texture and color scheme, um, there's some nice stripes along the legs, which was nice too. Um, an interesting factor is that this back part, it can bend pretty nicely. So that could be pretty good for stop motion too. So yeah, good for bending and stuff. I would say not really anything I wouldn't want to change about the tail. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure how the metal inside the tail will hold up um, eventually after being turned a lot, but we'll have to see about that. Now moving on to overall um, texture, I would say they did a pretty good job on um, all the texture on this dinosaur. Um, regarding um, articulation, I would say this is one of the most articulated dinosaurs I've ever seen. Um, I've never really seen dinosaurs that are not in the amber collection and they have three joints on their arms. So that is a pretty big factor um, for price range and stuff. 
Um, as for the price of this dinosaur, I would say it's pretty um, nicely priced. I wouldn't say any higher and lower. Um, I'm not sure about manufacturing costs, but um, I would say it's pretty nicely priced. Um, as for manu maneuverability, it has many joints. So yeah, nice for the joints. Um, as for like action shots and stuff, I would say this is the dinosaur you would want to use for a stop motion or something like that because it has a lot of maneuverability and you could do some pretty good shots with it. Um, nothing really I want to change about this dinosaur if I had the power. Um, I would say overall this has been a really nice dinosaur to um, unbox and stuff. And I would say if you're looking for a dinosaur, a Velociraptor, for stop motion, one of the Velociraptors from the Amber Collection would definitely be a great one to choose. And here's Delta with the um, little neck strap camera thing. Um, it seems to um, kind of not let Delta open its mouth a little bit less, but um, yeah, the mouth gape is a little retained in this situation, but um, it looks pretty cool if you want to create, recreate some of those scenes um, from Jurassic World, um, yeah, so it looks pretty cool on her, and yeah, I would say it's pretty good. And here's Delta on the little stand that this set comes with. Um, I would say they might not need the stand that much, um, just for reasons such as when you are, it doesn't look that neat, um, in videos. But I would say definitely um, it's great for when you are um, just trying to keep Delta in one position, um, such as like when you're displaying her on a shelf. Um, so yeah, um, it's, it's, it's okay, but I mean, I wouldn't use it for any videos because it would show too much. But if you're just keeping Delta in a nice position, um, on a shelf or a book or a bookcase um, Then yes, definitely it would come in handy As for size comparisons, here's Delta compared to the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Velociraptor um, So yeah, Delta's Admittedly Delta is a little bit oversized in this scenario, but um, When it comes to just stop motion with Delta um, it would definitely be much better than um, this Velociraptor, but if you're trying to create a video that is um, supposed to be um, a recognizable size for the Velociraptor, um, yeah, it, Delta again is a little bit oversized in this scenario. And here is Delta the Velociraptor compared to the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Plesiosaurus. So again, a little bit oversized Delta is, but um, I would say for stop motion, Delta would really rock the house. Like and subscribe if you would want to see more videos like this. Comment down below with questions for me. And yeah, see you in the next unboxing video. Bye!